Number two, why didn't Jesus raise people from the dead more often? Um, actually, there, uh, there's a, a fan fiction about that. It's a book called Twilight. Anybody <laughs> read that? No, it's, uh, no all right. Um, so, uh, this is, uh, this, I haven't read that. Um, uh, this, is, this is one of those uh, challenging things. I, I thought about this and, and kind of the, the first uh, question in a little bit of the same light. It, it's important to talk about this, to, to name this, if we're going to answer this question, that this is a fine discussion to have as an intellectual conversation. And when someone has just lost someone, you don't have this discussion. And I think that's important to kind of name. There are some things that we in the church do really, really well, and uh, there are some things we don't do well. Oftentimes, we try and make other people feel better by saying stuff that makes us feel better. We do that a lot. Uh, so this is one of those things. There is a reality to Jesus. Why didn't Jesus raise people from the dead more often? Because every time he was doing one of his miracles in that time, he was pointing to what was to come. It was always pointing about what was to come. When he's feeding people, he's pointing about what's to come. When he's healing people, he's pointing about what's to come. When he's raising people from the dead, and he does it three different times, he's pointing about what's to come. There is going to be a time when we shall all be raised from the dead. But every time he did that, you know people just focused on the now instead of what was to come. And so he could have kept doing that. He could have kept doing that. And each time he'd done, he would have done that, it would have just continued to get people to focus on the now. So instead of doing that, he said, all right, we can only do this as a glimpse, as a hint, to paint the way so that when I'm gone, people will look back and think, oh, of course, he was looking towards that. But it wasn't about the now. It was about what was to come. And that's an important conversation to have when someone's in a place where they can have it. And when they're not in a place where they can have that, the answer to that question is, I don't know, and that just stinks. Because when we lose people, it just stinks. And it's not okay. And we are heartbroken. And we meet people where they're at, just like Jesus did. So, I thought it was a chance to, to talk about that, to answer that a little bit, and also just to remind ourselves, hey, where people are at, that's where we need to be. And maybe at some other time, we can have a, a further conversation over a cup of coffee and, and see where that goes. We've got to make sure our timing's right. That's a key one for that. All right. Cool. Cool. Good, good question. Uh, as we wrap up our